Have you been frustrated by soldering? Most common problem that people experience is when the tip gets dirty. When the tip is dirty, you can't transfer the heat from the tip to the thing you're trying to solder. So you can see this tip right here is shiny. It's silver as I rotate it around there. You can see it shimmering. As opposed to this tip over here, which is totally charred. This is a close-up image of a soldering iron tip. It's interesting to note that it's partially tinned and partially burnt. The silver part where the solder is sticking is tinned and it would work fine for soldering. The part that's burnt or charred looking needs to be cleaned. So you can see this tip is all oxidized. It should be silver and shiny. So there are a few ways to clean it. There's a tip cleaner, which if you dip the tip in there, sometimes the cleaner will be able to burn off the uh, residue. And you can see here, it's not really working. It's just kind of sticking to the surface. You know, I could wipe it off with the sponge and still no luck. So if that doesn't work, you could try a file. So if you lightly file the tip, try to get some of the oxidation off, it'll clean it. One problem though, is that if you're filing it, you're exposing bare metal. If the temperature is turned up, it's just gonna oxidize almost immediately. So turn it down to maybe 600, 650 degrees, and then try filing again. Just till you see shiny bare metal. And when you do, as soon as it looks good, you're gonna to wanna to retin the tip with some solder. Otherwise it's gonna oxidize almost immediately. And you can see we did that operation right there. Now we have a retin tip and we're ready to solder again. So you can see the difference here, this tip is shiny. If the tip isn't shiny, and the solder doesn't melt on it, even at a temperature around 650 degrees, it's not gonna work properly. The most important thing to preserving the tip life is to keep it tinned. So a lot of people will often clean the tip off when they're done soldering. When you do that, you expose the tip, the bare iron of the tip to the air and the air oxidizes at high temperatures. So a good thing to do is to simply put a ball of solder on the tip of the soldering iron before you cradle it. That ball of solder will keep the oxygen away from the tip. Another trick is to turn the temperature down. So keep the temperature as low as possible for your operation. If you're gonna walk away for a few minutes, just turn the temperature down to about 450 degrees. And then that way when you come back, you could quickly turn it up to 750 or 700 and it'll get back up to temperature. If you're working on a project that depends a lot on soldering, it might be worthwhile buying a new tip. The Irons and Epic typically use these Weller ETA tips. They're four or five dollars. And you could buy your own tip, and if you take care of it, it'll always be good for when you need it.